Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The great wages, everlasting God to deliver to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of truth, leader Olumba, Olumba abode a supernatural teacher. Spiritual food, Luke chapter 12 verse 13. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact, no more than that which is appointed you. A bore falsehood. Quote, Brethren, take note of the above message. Assuming you were given an article worth 10 naira to sell, and you are able to sell it at 50 naira. Beloved, of what benefit would it be to you if you decide to keep back the surplus 5 naira? You may also grumble when given the sum of 20 naira to take care of an undertaking because you feel the amount would not be sufficient for such a task. I believe you have understood what is stated in the text that you should exact not more than that which is appointed you. Therefore, whoever receives more than what is appointed to him does not belong to this kingdom. You are implored to act as you are directed. Do not go beyond the limit set for you, otherwise it would lead to your fall. Again, if it was agreed that you would be given 20 naira for taking a person to a place he has not been to before, and after accomplishing the task, you decide to change the you decide to charge the stranger more than it was agreed, would this behavior portray you as a man of God? Who has taught you such dubious ways? Can you imagine that once a certain sister came from overseas to Nigeria to see the father and at the airport somebody offered to take her to 34 Amber Street at the sum of 20,000 Naira. The shocking aspect of the incident was that the said person after collecting the money run away with it leaving the woman stranded at the airport did somebody who could be regarded as being wise carry out such a wicked act there are similar cases when people demand say ten thousand naira from other people and refuse to carry out a certain agreed assignment these hideous activities do not constitute the divine teaching I have always been imparting to you. You are advised to make sure that any article given to you by somebody is sold at this stipulated price. More so, you are encouraged to accept the salary offered you by your employer, provided it is a bit reasonable. You should not demand for a wage that is not commensurate to the labor provided. Do you know that it is the work of debt if you pretentiously accept to be paid a meagre salary of say 40 naira by your employer but before the end of the month you manifest your hidden plans by embezzling the sum of 50,000 naira found in the treasury? Meanwhile, you both and find yourself for successfully carrying out that act. You should be informed that this is on this guy's stealing and you will surely reap the reward for the wages of sin is dead. Contentment is a mark of piety since we receive everything free of charge from God, we should, with maximum consideration, also give these things free of charge to people. 
Always bear in mind that this is the new kingdom of God where everything is equally new. There is no bribery and corruption in this kingdom because these vices which were known are now non-existent. Let your works or services be truthful and sincere. Do not go beyond that which is required. Greed has been identified to be responsible for your lack of satisfaction in all that is available. It is greed that often attracts death to you. Always realize that this is the kingdom of God and as such all operations in the kingdom must be according to the new and acceptable order. If we exhibit truthfulness in the little responsibilities entrusted to us, it follows that we should also exhibit truthfulness when entrusted with greater responsibilities in the future. Therefore, the entire brotherhood children are implored to display the new lifestyle anywhere they are employed or called upon to act as representatives. You are also entreated to imbibe the new lifestyle found in the kingdom and allow the new teachings to be reflected in all your services and actions. It is expected that you should at all times express love, express mercy, truth and patience to everybody throughout the whole world. Furthermore, you should engage in sublime acts of righteousness so that you would receive all the blessings of God. In conclusion, let us work as we are directed because before now we have lived in thick darkness when we did not know our right from our left and the notion we used to have was that we were sole owners of ourselves. As a result of this misconception we have indulged in whatever we felt was our heart's desire. However, from henceforth you have been liberated from the dungeons of darkness to planes of absolute knowledge of the truth. Considering this divine act, we have now realized we have a father who is fully conscious that we are his children. Therefore, it is wise to adhere to the injunctions and strictly abide by every word that proceeds from his mouth. Beloved, a stroke of the cane is sufficient to the wise. Let he who have hears hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.